today we're gonna to be exposing the shocking truth behind the current inflation numbers and the Fed's plan. I'm gonna show you my clear logic as to how I'm going to play this game, not fall into their trap and make the absolute most outsized gains from the upcoming economic conditions. This one is an absolute doozy. So make sure you understand what they're planning. Make sure you understand what they care about, what they need to have happen. And I believe with a fairly high probability, you can predict where the ball is going to go. By understanding these things, I plan to pull off the play of a decade, maybe the play of my lifetime. Without further ado, let's jump in and talk inflation, the Fed's game plan, and the secret plan that I have to take advantage of all of this. First off, 4% year-over-year inflation. This is an absolute stunning drop, and the expectation was 4.1%. Remember, the Fed's target is 2%, so a lot of people are calling now for a pause in interest rate hikes, given that, hey, look, it's working. It's really working. In fact, today's reading makes 11 straight months of drops. Literally every single month without fail, the inflation readings have continued to drop. In fact, CPI is estimated to have an historic drop over the coming next two months. Effectively, the June number, which will be released on July 12th, is expected to print at 3.2% within spitting distance of the Fed's 2% target. And certainly, this would indicate a huge change in the inflation that is expected or really the way that we even interact with inflation. And this has led to the Fed rate futures now showing a 100% chance of no interest rate hike tomorrow at the Fed's meetings. However, this is also showing a 65% chance of a 25 bips hike in July. I'm not sure the rationale around this. Maybe the Fed would be trying to send a message that, hey, look, just because we don't hike one meeting, that doesn't mean that we're just done hiking and we will never hike again. No, we're hikers. We're outdoors people. We like the mountains. We like to hike. Maybe they'll go back to hiking in July. Again, this is beyond my pay grade. But what I can tell you is that inflation shrinking at this pace is extremely good for risk assets. Check it out. We also got my boy, Eric Crown, saying that technical suggest that CPI will have a bearish influence on Dixie. That means that as inflation comes under control, they can print more money. And as they print more money, it's bearish for the dollar. Again, all of these things work together. We're all macro experts now, right? Obliterate the like button if you are also a macro expert. Of course, we know that the CPI ratings don't exactly encapsulate all of the inflation going on in the world. Rent, insurance, food, all of these things that seem astronomically higher than they were just a few years ago. Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. So how does all this impact our precious bags? When is the ultimate time to buy yourself some Bitcoins? Well, here is my particular outlook. Because remember, in all of this, what we know is that real estate's upside down, that effectively the Fed is out of money, that the Treasury's out of money, and that they need to refill their coffers, that they don't want to pay an astronomical amount of debt to refill those coffers. So here's the way I think this is going to play out. They need to keep the tension up just enough to start seeing some cracks in the mainstream markets. They want to see some bad news in stocks. In fact, they have drifted completely away from trying to crush the labor market. And I think that they're just looking to see cracks in housing and particularly the stock market. And if they get those, what they'll do is immediately drop rates raise a ton of money from the public at those low interest rates because people will be jumping out of stocks with fear into low interest rate bonds and then they will pump markets full of liquidity and send stocks and cryptocurrency skyward. And here we have it. We actually have the results of today's meeting, which is that there will be no interest rate increases. However, people are calling this the hawkish pause. Now, why is this a hawkish pause? In general, you think that pausing interest rate hikes would be dovish. This would mean more bullish for the markets, but it's hawkish because Jerome Powell reiterated that this is not the end of their hiking cycle. In fact, they reserve the right to keep hiking. They are hiking maxis. And to be clear, their dot plot, which is what they use to project what they're going to do at future meetings, is actually showing 50 basis points more hiking within this calendar year. And the markets are pricing in more interest rate increases. The results were instantly a massive spike in the dollar, a massive drop in the S&P 500, and a massive drop in gold. So there you have it, the plan in full effect. They're going to try to be as surgical as they can in crashing the economy. They don't want to over tighten so fast that it just completely obliterates the economy, but they're not stopping until they see some cracks in the armor. They need this because they need to sell those treasury bonds at cheap interest rates. And in order to drop the interest rates, they need to completely crush the economy for now. So as far as I can tell, that is the plan. 
Batman. But remember, they're about as surgical as the Hulk. And so we could probably see that they will overdo this to some degree. Again, today's update completely confirms the entire thesis that we've laid out in this video. And yes, this update is from the day after we originally filmed. Back to me from yesterday to wrap up this video. So this is the plan, I believe, by the government. They've now controlled inflation to the point where at any point they can turn the spigots back on and start printing more money, start supporting the markets even more. They need to do this or else they will lose US dollar dominance. This is an absolute requirement for US dollar dominance is that those US dollars can get you access to the best capital markets, which make you the most money. In order to do that, they need to print. They need to support those markets. So what's going to happen? In my opinion, they will either pause or keep rates higher for longer than the markets would like, and people will be screaming that this doesn't make any sense until there is actually a proper crack in real estate prices or the stock market. And once that crack starts to happen, they will then lower rates and raise a ton of money at lower rates, essentially saying, haha, now you guys are scared. We can raise a bunch of money. We can refill our accounts without spending too much in interest. That is their goal. Then once they do that, they will start to flood the market with liquidity, freshly printed greenbacks in US dollars. That is the moment. That is the moment of max opportunity when the interest rates start to drop and people start to get scared of mainstream markets and potentially cryptocurrency markets as well. That to me is the opportunity to shoot that once in a generation shot. Again, do I know for sure this is going to happen? Absolutely not. And that's why I've been slowly accumulating. I bought a little bit during the capitulation of this last week. I bought a little bit during the bank bailouts. I've been buying slowly and steadily steadily just to make sure that, hey, look, if this thing just takes off, I have some exposure. But I'm also ready to buy some new fear, some new FUD. I think I smell what the Fed is stepping in right now, and I'm going to be ready in case this plan, this secret plan of theirs does play out and their ability to manipulate the market downwards is actually successful. That's exactly when you don't want to be exiting stocks, but entering stocks and entering risk assets, because really the government is trying to convince you to buy their absolutely useless debt, which will only erode purchasing power versus productive asset or risk assets. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, obliterate that like. Make sure to watch this video. It's even better than this one. I'll see you very soon on the next episode.